Hello, you fellow musicians and gamers out there. This is Quantum Gamer here, and I am here once again with another part of Let's Play Tekken 3. And I am here playing as none other than King. Yes, like I said before, I'm going to be playing as King in this video. And go a little bit of a backstory on King's character here. Now, the King that I'm playing as in this video is not King the First from Tekken 2, One. it is uh, King the Second. And the reason why I say it's King the Second is because between the events of Tekken 2 and Tekken 3, uh, King the First unfortunately ended up being killed by Ogre. And that's the reason why King the Second is in this tournament is because uh, he, King the Second is wanting to avenge uh, King the First by killing Ogre and uh, getting his uh, vengeance. And I could have gone a perfect against Paul there, but nope. It's near impossible to get a perfect against Paul, even on stage one. Nah, I'm just saying that as an excuse. I'm not really that good at Tekken. But anyway, yeah. That's the reason why King 2 is in this tournament, to get vengeance on Ogre for killing a King uh, first. And a bit of a background on King 2's character. Now, I believe he is the orphan, one of the orphans that the King looked after during the events of uh, Tekken's 1 and 2. Because in Tekken 2, King 1 never won uh, Tekken 2 because uh, he ended up losing to Armor King. I, and I remember in King King's history, like in Tekken 1, uh, he ended up becoming uh, third place in the tournament. He ended up getting a share of the prize money along with uh, Martial Law. And he used this to uh, make the orphanage that he looked after a better place. So as you can see here, King the Second has got a lot of uh, uh, King the First moves. Which he picked up from uh, Armor King's training. Round one. Fight. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. This. I mean, I like King. I mean, uh, I get I get along great with uh, King's character. Not not to say that I know him personally. What I meant to say was uh, I actually play w well as him, because there's a few moves that I know in his uh, arsenal here, like that one, which Nina blocked. But hopefully, I will get it on the next time and take that huge kick there, plus the huge drop kick there. I want to see that in the replay again. Look at that huge spinning drop kick there. It's a lot more effective if you actually see it without the slow motion replay. Like the, the velocity like of that kick. Whoa, okay. Yeah, the velocity of that, that drop kick there that King tries to deliver on his opponent there is just it's amazing. Hey, right, come on, Nina. You want to taste of that Harnaker mat? Oh, come on, Nina. You want to taste of that Harnaker mat? Oh, never mind. Take a drop kick then. I want to deliver that Harnaker mana to somebody. Alright, law. And as far as goes with his grappling moves, so he's got a lot of grappling moves. Although that being said, I don't know his uh, his actual uh, ten hit combo or his uh, uh, king or uh, his chain grappling move set. Wow, what a DDT that was! I actually wasn't expecting that move there. I actually, I've not played this king in this game for a while, so I've been playing Tekken two a lot more often than uh, Tekken three because, like I said. I, for some reason, right, I can never stop playing Tekken 2. You know that feeling you get when you play the game for so long in your childhood, and uh, yeah, you uh, you end up playing it again as an adult for quite a while. Like, I end up, you end up replaying a certain game because you have a lot of nostalgia for it. That's why I'm getting with Tekken 2 at the moment, and not really with the, uh, with the rest of the Tekken games. Okay, right, nope. I'll take, try and take that low kick for size. Nope. Take that hurricane round to the face. There we go. Now, this is, that is called the Frankenstein, or the official move is called the Frankenstein. Oh, oh come on, wall. I wanted to grapple you there. Oh, damn it. Okay, I take my first loss there. I probably shouldn't have done that, to be fair. Hopefully, law does not cause me grief. No, you don't. Law, you're interfering with my vengeance. You seriously want to be part of my vengeance victims? Then you've got it. Fine. If you seriously want to do that, law, then fine. You have no desire to attend this tournament. All you want to do is win the prize money, right? But no, I want to face Ogre because I'm more important than you. Ah, and that's what I get for saying I'm more important than Law. I end up getting, I end up getting, well, you know, getting my ass kicked to Law. All right, no. Nope. I don't want to do that. Like, I, you see, one thing I like about this game is that, like. The, the movements are actually a lot more fluent in this game than they are in Tekken 2, which is why I will say why I like about Tekken 3 better than t No, 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 no. Oh, no! God damn it. Ah, uh, come on, Law. 
don't do this now. Don't do this to me now. Come on, law. This is only stage four. And for some reason I thought I heard my phone going off with that music playing. But no, I know that I've got my phone on silent right now and that it's charging, so it must be me and my ears playing tricks on me. Or I've listened to too many ringtones as of late, I don't know. But no, 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 in, in no actuality, I've not listened to too many ringtones. No, no. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right. I always, keep, I always keep wanting to do that hurricane round at the start, it's the very first move, but for some reason King Owens ends up doing a low kick to the ankle, which, yeah, I always keep wanting to do that high kick, but I kept forgetting, no, they removed that in this game. Now, one thing to talk about in the Tekken series actually, is talking a bit more about Tekken 7, is to do with... I still don't know what the motives are of the characters in this game. I don't know who to believe or who not to believe because there's a lot of forums debating that Heihachi is the good guy all his time in the Tekken series, whereas Kazuya is the evil one and the and his uh, mother, uh, Kazumi, or, or Heihachi's wife in other words, Kazumi is the evil one. I don't know. To me, that wouldn't really make sense because that would ruin the story. Because Heihachi has done a lot of uh, really messed up uh, things, especially like to his son, like Kazuya, like, like the original setting like of this was, and I actually didn't think, you see that those low kicks, those five low kicks the king does, I didn't actually think he could do that, oh wow I got perfect against uh, uh, Waring, I actually didn't think that would happen, but anyway, yeah, like he threw him off of, the, off of a cliff, but just because he had the devil powers within him, and I'm thinking to myself, hey, actually, killing your son is not the most feasible way to resolve uh, getting the devil out of him. Surely teaching him compassion and uh, positive feelings will help ease the devil gene within them. I'm just saying, I would probably make a better father than you, Heiachi. That being said now, uh, when I get to stage 9, Heiachi's probably going to keep that insult in mind. He's going to keep that remark in mind, and he's going to be like, how dare you say that to me? Kleinet, I'm going to kick your ass now for, for telling me that I'm a bad father. <laughs> That's what Heihachi's probably thinking right now. But I don't care. I still think you're a bad father, Heihachi. But Lei is being a bit of a pest right now. Oh, no, you don't. No, no, no. Lei. Lei. No. I can out-wrestle you. I was about to do an elbow drop there, but that didn't work. Oh, and I clearly missed. Oh, and luckily he didn't knock me out. Oh. I don't know what if I was to... Oh, crap. That was close. I actually, I, I didn't actually expect that kick to do that much damage, but I think he was going for a move there. That's probably... Ah, Lei. I get that you're playing dead, okay? I get that I'm following your tricks, but just stop it. No, no. Lei. It's time for you to lay down and let me move on away from you and so I can advance on in this tournament and get my vengeance. If you seriously want to be my, uh, part of my vengeance, then so be it. No, no. Oh, damn it! Ah! Okay, let's try again. It's lucky that I'm not in that mood to fast forward any footage or edit things out. Oh, God. Okay, Lee, okay, I get it. You know me very well. But you didn't know that clothesline very well, didn't you? That clothesline from hell. And no, that's not uh, JBL's uh, signature move. Speaking of which, actually, I must talk about uh, WWE, right? Now, I will admit, I don't have a script in front of me, so this is completely uh, off, off of my mind. And. The reason why I'm talking about W... Oh, well, that was a bit of an awkward landing with the clothesline. Uh, the reason why I want to talk about WWE right now is to do with... I know that I said that I don't like the WWE anymore, but... I actually did see the results of... Or look at the results of the No Mercy pay-per-view. Like, the SmackDown brand's exclusive uh, No Mercy uh, pay-per-view review. And I've got to say, it's been... SmackDown has been doing a lot better than Raw in terms of the brand split. For those of you who are fans of WWE that are watching this, uh, feel free to uh, comment down below what your thoughts are on Raw and SmackDown as a result of the brand split. Alright, now I know you're going to run into me. Oh! Okay, right, yeah. I'll give you that, Lee. I've, I've always been used to him doing that in Tekken 2, then I always jump over him uh, when he's about to do the 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 running barge that I just did to him uh, earlier as well. But yeah, Raw and SmackDown. I personally believe that SmackDown is doing better than Raw. The ratings for both shows are terrible at the moment, but it's no surprise to me because the, well, the the staff, like the, the creative team are terrible. That's why they, the, like, that's why the shows are getting such low ratings. 
but no, from my point of view, SmackDown is getting better than Raw because every time on Raw, they always keep uh, pushing like Roman Reigns and like Seth, well, well, Seth Rollins is now a face, but the problem with Raw is the inconsistent storylines. Now, now I'll give you an example of a, of a swear that I didn't see coming because at No Mercy, there was a match between uh, Miz and Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental Championship. And, oh, hello, Gon. Didn't expect you to be my next opponent. I'm wondering how the Hurricane Rana will affect you. I'm actually going to try that. Am I actually able to hit him with the Hurricane Rana here? Ah, no. I actually just want to see if I'm able to do... Nah, I'm probably not able to do it, aren't I? It's not, I don't think it's physically possible. I don't think... Nah, I, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage now when I play as King because the hitbox here is going to be very, very, very weird. Oh great, I think I may have found myself into a, an impossible situation. I'm probably going to have to keep doing low kicks on him because that's probably the only way I can defeat him. That's probably the only way I can defeat a gun. Oh crap, right, yeah, oh. I didn't know your your tail was so deadly, gone. I'm going to have to keep doing these kind of moves to him because... Can I even do any grappling moves? No, I can't. I How on earth am I going to defeat this? Uh, sorry, I got a little bit sidetracked there. I was not actually expecting to face him because the opponent selection you get in this is completely random. See, look, like that. Like, he was able to duck my clothesline without even having to duck. That's how bad the hitbox is on this. I think I may have found myself in an impossible situation here. But in the meantime, while I try to figure my way out of this impossible situation, I'll keep talking about WWE because why not? Helps keep my mind at ease uh, when I talk about other things. So yeah, WWE, uh, yeah, the, the example of that swerve story, uh, the Miz and Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental Championship. Now the rumours were swirling about that the Miz was going to win this match. I think there was even speculation that Ziggler had other projects on outside of WWE and that's why he was going to leave. But... Turns out that that was wrong. Oh, no, 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 you're not farting on me, Gon. No way in hell you're doing that to me. That's bad. Dirty. Disgusting. Can't believe you would ever do such a thing. Uh, but yeah, he won the Intercontinental title from The Miz last night, and oh, crap. I know he's going to win on time up, so okay, I need to keep doing these moves to him because... I don't know how I'm going to defeat this. This, this little dinosaur. I don't know how... I honestly don't... No. See, look, I'm trying to duck, duck and punch him, and I cannot reach him. This is... Now, this is what you call fair, isn't it? Oh, no. No. Did I not have him as an opponent last time when I played as a... Uh, who was I played as? No, still can't have him. Oh, God. That, oh, no! Ah, and he just bit me. But no, I didn't see that coming between uh, Miz and uh, Dolph Ziggler. Like, the... the about... Ziggler winning the Intercontinental title. I didn't see that coming. Whoa, okay. Even if I keep doing this, that might actually... If I keep doing a low kick and trying to do... I know this is a cheat method, guys. I know, I'm sorry. But this is probably the only way I can defeat him. Because I'm no expert at Tekken 3. I will say that. Nope. You're not getting a timer victory on me again. Oh, no, no. He hit me with a fire attack. No. How dare you. Now I'm going to end up smelling very bad. An ogre may like that. Oh no! Come on! I, I nearly had you there. This is probably one match I'm probably gonna have to end up speeding up uh, eventually if I don't end up uh, defeating him or even uh, cutting off. I'm probably gonna have to edit this out. Do you know? I think. I don't know what you guys think actually. I mean, do you like when I do the new editing effect when I fast forward the matches? Because I personally think it's very funny to see that. Plus, you get to hear my squeaky voice as well, which is always good. No, you don't. I'm going to keep doing this until you go down, Gon. That's the only way to defeat you. Unless if it's any other way. Yeah, there we go. I know this is sad that I'm having to resort to this method, but it's the only way I can do this. And this is what you call ammo cruelly at his best. And then knocking down with the, the Hurricane Rana. That's the, only, that's the only thing I can do with that move, or the Frankensteiner. Oh, no, you don't. This is probably the only way I can defeat him. This is so sad. Because I really wanted to defeat him in other ways. But yeah, that's the only way I can do it. Okay, right. No need to fast forward or uh, fast forward any footage there. All right, Gunjack. Right, you'll be a lot easier than Round 
One. Well, you'll be a lot easier than Gun. I can say that because you're actually at my size. I might, I'm actually able to hit you with these moves. That's one thing about Gun that I didn't like. It's that, like, whenever you face him, it's near impossible to defeat him unless you lose low kick moves. That's the, literally the only way to defeat him. Unless I found completely wrong about that. Oh, crap, right. Okay, here we go again. Oh, wow, that was a definite close line there. He was about to fly on me, Gun Jack. But, yeah, I'm not surprised that that was a perfect. Oh, no, you don't. No. You notice the sound bites that they're using. The sound bites that they're using for Gun Jack uh, is kind of reminds me of both Tekken's 1 and 2. And the flying ability that Gun Jack uses uh, is a uh, prototype Jack from uh, Tekken 2. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm having a lot of trouble with King today. I don't know why. Round one. Seems like, I don't, uh, seems like I, I'm not really that rusty with King after all. I thought I was. It turns out I was. Uh, no. No, 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 you're not, you're not falling on me. Right, no. You're not getting away that easily, Gun Jack. On oh, the moose like you may are. Uh, uh, that, I was say, it looks like you might be able to get away with this that easily. No. Right, block that, yeah. Just stand still and block it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, no. Okay, I, I need to remember, like, uh, in order to kind of the, the, like, whenever he's sitting down, like, when doing those punches... Uh, to, to duck when doing that because uh, that way that's the only way to block those moves if I remember correctly oh what yeah the the game kind of glitches sometimes like whenever he's going for a high combat move whenever I'm going for one if I connect with it he ends up flying across the map which is kind of uh, weird but it's quite funny to see actually oh no that was not funny though a big boot that was not funny in the slightest ah what is wrong with you, Gun Jack? Are you seriously wanting to get vengeance on Ogre as well? What has he ever done to you? You don't feel any emotions, you're a robot. You're not supposed to have emotions. Oh wait, no, no, no. That being said, no, my bad. Because the Jack series, if I remember correctly, are built to have emotions within them. Unlike uh, the prototype ones. The prototype ones uh, uh, don't have the emotions. Whereas... I, th I think, actually, no, I actually back up that statement there because uh, I believe, uh, because of what I said earlier about Gun Jack having uh, prototype uh, Jack schematics, uh, that's probably why I think Gun Jack doesn't have any emotions. Round one. The reason why I'm not getting as mad as I am, guys, is because I'm actually being very patient with this. And I'm not actually letting this get to me too much. I know that it's very entertaining watching people rage when do this. I mean, it is quite entertaining sometimes, but... You don't necessarily hear me rage that often. Well, sometimes maybe I might have raged quite a bit, especially during uh, some parts of uh, Tekken 2. Like, especially the first character I played as. Oh, no. No. Gun Jack, enough is enough. I mean, you're, you're giving me hell right now. Imagine what Heihachi's like. He's waiting in the shadows. He's just waiting to really annihilate me. With that remark I made against him earlier. About his parenting skills. Oh no, why did I do that? Wait, what? Wait, that's Ganryu's move. Why are you doing the stomp move? I've never seen you do the stomp move before. And I'm actually being dead serious. I've never seen him do that. That's usually a move that Ganryu does in Tekken 2. Like, how does he do that? Oh yeah, that was that was easy to connect to because he was getting up in that position. Right, come on. No, oh no, 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 no. Right, there we go. Take another clothesline. Alright, hey Hachi, now I, I know that I said, he's like, yep, it's about time you finally arrive, now I can finally, yep, here we go, here it comes, here comes the ass kicking of a lifetime, here it is. Well, he's definitely kicking me li literally, that's for sure. Yep, here we go, yep, I told you. I'm probably going to end up beating my own words now. Well, hey Hachi, unless if you've got a really good reason for your motives against Kazuya, then I'll let you off with it, but no, I'm still not believing you. Especially with all your motives you got right now, of uh, trying to get Ogre's blood in this game. Yes, that's what Heihachi's motive is. That's why he set up this tournament, because he set up all the fighters as bait to get the Ogre, the samples of Ogre's blood. So like whoever uh, ends up... So whoever ends up uh, defeating Ogre, he'll end up getting that, that sample, that DNA of Ogre. 
I know, no Wii U, no, no Wii U, you're not getting a Wii U, we're on PS3, we're not on Wii U, hey Hachi, you're on the wrong console. <laughs> I don't know why, it sounds like he's saying Wii U and all. And yep, that stomp it definitely ended up finishing me off. You're probably even asking me now, Hachi, are you regretting the things I said about you now? Well, no, I have not regretted it, and I'm definitely going to still say, say that to this day. Once I play Tekken 7, and there's a good reason for your motives like that, then fine, I will accept that. But until then, I'm not believing that. Because uh, Tekken 7 is apparently depicting Heihachi as the anti-hero of the game, whereas Kazuya and uh, Kazumi are the villains with the devil gene, which is understandable, but if you think about Heihachi's motives of him taking over the world, that really doesn't make him uh, an anti-hero in a way. To me, Kazuya seems like the one to be the anti-hero, not Heihachi. At least that's my opinion anyway, like, uh, for those of you guys, like, uh, if you're watching this, if you've uh, kept up with Tekken 7, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the uh, the story of Tekken 7, what your thoughts are, thoughts are on the characters, especially the Mishima family, since this, is their, since this is their last game after all, and I'm talking way too much and I'm not really concentrating enough on uh, getting Heihachi down. Now one thing I will say Heihachi, you're in my road, and oh, no, you're blocking my pathway to getting my vengeance on Ogre. That's why I want to get rid of you as quickly as possible. No. Oh god, no! Honestly, Hiachi, enough. Round one. Why are you so keen to just really just take me down? Do you not want me to get vengeance on Ogre? Is that what you're is that what you're trying to prove, Hiachi? It's like no, Ogre's mine. But what's he ever done to you? You probably won't even care anyway, but I care more than you do. And I'm going to show that. This is for King the First. I'm going to prove to him that I'm definitely the one. And I'm going to prove this to Armour King as well. Yeah, there we go. Tricked you, nya nya. You expected me to go for a high impact move, but I tricked you. And oh crap, and I fell for that. Oh no, 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 no. Right, hey Archie. Yeah, no, I'm kind of rambling a bit now because I'm trying to get back into this. You know, god damn it. I hate Heihachi in this game. I seriously do. You see, probably, I think he's much easier to beat. Well, he's actually a lot harder to beat than Kazuya is in Tekken 2 because Kazuya in Tekken 2, to be fair, was actually easy to beat, depending on the, which character you were playing as. Oh, no, no, no. I am kind of losing my voice here a bit. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Ah. Come on, Heiachi, stop this. I want to just get my vengeance and get her here. And that... Just... No, Heiachi. Yeah? How many times do I have to keep saying your name? Round two. You're not... Fight. You're not the one, okay? Now enough. Let me just go to Ogre and just get my vengeance, Heiachi. Is that all... Is that too much to ask for? I seriously can't wait to play as Heihachi because I'm going to let him... I'm I'm probably going to let him get me on purpose. Nah, not really. I mean, Heihachi is one of my favourite characters because he is quite powerful, but that's what I need to keep doing. I need to keep doing the ducking moves because clearly the ducking moves work against him because every time he goes to try for something more powerful, uh, he ends up... Uh, well, damn it. It was working effectively there, but... No. Ah, no. Yeah, there we go. How do you like that, Obo Heihachi? Ah. Oh, nice one. Close line in mid-air. And a barge. Right, there we go. Right, now, please, do not lose. That is all I'm asking. Do not lose for the next two times. That's all I'm asking. To myself. And to King. And to Heiachi as well. Please do not beat me. Let me go to Ogre and just get my vengeance. There we go. Finish you off. Finally. It's done. How long has this been going on for? Oh my god, that's been nearly 25 minutes. Oh, right. Now, it's you. You killed my mentor. Now you're going to pay the price. You're not copying any of my mentor's moves. Oh no, no, that was the shoulder block that Armor King uses. 
or both of my mentors. Well, actually, no, Armor King doesn't appear in this game, but Ogre didn't kill him as far as, uh, as my taken history uh, is correct. But I know that Ogre definitely killed uh, King the First. And this is why I'm getting vengeance on Ogre here. Nope. Oh, damn it, I was so close to being Ogre there on my first uh, attempt. But my thoughts countered that. I thought I was going to gear, 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 gear the, what, I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, I thought I was going to get Ogre on my first attempt, but needless to say, I was not successful. I'm really hoping this time I will be successful. No, no. All right. Oh, no, you don't. You're not doing that powerful punch. There we go. It's not over yet, though, of course, because he gets Heihachi's body and a flash of white. Or a white screen. And, lo and behold, True Ogre. And I'm going to be serious right now. If 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 this, if this I end up you spending as much time as I, as I on o True Ogre as I, I did on Heihachi, then that's just sad. Now, surprisingly, he has never used a fire attack on me yet, True Ogre, uh, in this Let's Play. I don't know why he hasn't. He's not as smart as Devil when he goes for the laser attacks. Oh, no! I You saw that right. I was literally so close. Just an inch of health. An inch of health left. And I could have beaten him, but nope. I ended up losing because I ended up stupid things like uh, kicks. Uh, stupid kicks. That didn't reason oh, my God! Speaking of a fire attack, he just did that right there, right now. I honestly, sometimes, I I still don't know how to dodge those fire attacks effectively. Like the, the lasers uh, the devil uses in Tekken 2. I still don't know how to dodge those. Oh, and I just beat you over there with an inch of health as well. Oh, no, no, no. Why are you using the shoulder barge on me? And I want to use, I want to use that double axe handle on you. I think that's what the move's called anyway. No, you don't. And I, why? I want to use this move. Let me just use this move, uh, Choker. Please, that's all I'm asking from you. Right. Now this is my chance. Final round. Now, final chance. Please use this move, King. Also, sometimes, like, when I'm doing the right input there. Okay, right, now he blocks it. Ah, you see, I did it again. That's why I hate pressing buttons at the same time, because... Ah, there we go. Finally, I connected with it. This might be a sign. This might be a good sign. Could I do this? Yes. There we go. Vengeance is complete. King One, I hope you're proud because I defeated your killer. You win. There we go. Now it's time for King Two's ending. Now, what was his ending again? Oh, there's Armor King. Oh, nice clothesline. And that finish him. Nice one. Oh, now he's gone. Wait. What was it? Oh. I'm wondering why. Now I always wonder why Armor King was sitting in the locker room. Was it just to uh, mourn the loss of Tekken 1? Or, no, not Tekken 1. Uh, King 1? I'm wondering if that's why that is. Because I always question why Armor King would sit in the locker room. and like Because he must have been proud of uh, King 2 for winning the championship. But then I think he must have fond memories of King 1 winning the championship. Because he must have trained him as well. But either way guys, thank you very much for watching this part of Tekken 3. This has been quite a long part. But uh, this will be uh, end up uh, probably being cut. Most of my attempts so with Heihachi here might end up being cut here. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like if you enjoyed. Comment down below for your thoughts. And please feel free to subscribe as well for more upcoming Tekken 3 videos. And next time when I come back to Tekken 3, I shall be playing as... Lei. So Lei Rulong will be in the next part. So until then, guys, this is Quanagamir signing off. Hope you all have a great day wherever you are, and I shall speak to you later. Till then, goodbye.